Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. First, let me read from the Bible. Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 27. For the dedication of the new wall of Jerusalem, the Levites throughout the land were asked to come to Jerusalem to assist in the ceremonies. They were to take part in the joyous occasion with their songs of thanksgiving and with the music of cymbals, harps and lyres. God's people have always loved celebrating. The rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem was an incredibly significant moment and we're given a wonderful picture of the people's celebrations. The Levites had the leading responsibility for worship and so they were brought into Jerusalem from all over the country for this special moment. There was a wide range of musical instruments, from trumpets and harps to lyres and cymbals, and Nehemiah organised the singers into two choirs who walked in different directions around the walls of the city. Nobody was left out. It must have been a great deal of fun. The whole Bible is punctuated with times of exuberant worship. It's no surprise that when John received his vision of heaven, it was in the form of the most amazing wedding banquet. John records, I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. It's wonderful that we have our own personal experiences of God, but we need to be continually aware that we're part of something much, much bigger. As we live for God today, we may not see any other Christian, but the praise that we offer is part of a great chorus of worship that is arising to God from all over the world. When we break bread and remember Jesus' death on the cross, we're united with every single Christian, from those who have recently found salvation to those who are slipping away from this life. There are times when, sadly, it's impossible to meet with other Christians because of personal circumstances or illness, However, in such moments, we need to remember that great multitude with whom we are completely united through our love for God. In an amazing way, we stand today in unity with Nehemiah and the people as they offered their noisy, enthusiastic worship long ago. Let me pray with you. Great God of wonders, we worship you. And thank you for uniting us with all your people in every time and place. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier.